Hello, we are Xbox On, and we're here to help your family get started with your Xbox One console. The Xbox One is an awesome family-friendly console with tons of functionality to help you and your loved ones have a great time together. In this video, we'll show you one of our favorite bundles that the whole family can enjoy, all the intuitive family features that come with your console, and some of the top tips for you parents out there who want more control over what your kids see hear and play. There are tons of family friendly games out there for parents and little ones to enjoy together, like the huge hitters Minecraft or Fortnite. Classics like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot have recently been remastered with a modern look, or you could try a newer release like Super Lucky's Tale. If you want the whole crew to be involved, you could try Sea of Thieves for up to four of you to sail the seven seas as pirates and make your own adventure using Xbox Live. Or you might like driving through the relaxed and beautiful British landscape of Forza Horizon 4. It's not only great gaming, it's also an entertainment hub with the Ultra HD Blu-ray player available on the Xbox One S and X, plus a ton of apps like Netflix, YouTube and BBC iPlayer ready for you to download and enjoy. You can even restrict access to these functionalities when needed and help moderate what each Xbox account can use. We'll talk you through step by step to get you started as fast as possible. There are lots of Xbox bundles available that give you great value for money which include a console and a game. For example, this one terabyte Forza Horizon 4 Xbox One S bundle comes with a full copy of the game, one terabyte of storage space, and other add-ons. Here we've actually got the white Xbox One S Forza Horizon 4 bundle, one of the many bundles you can grab that comes with extras to make life a little bit sweeter. A digital copy of Forza Horizon 4 is included, plus this bundle in particular comes with a 14-day trial of Xbox Live, the fastest and most reliable multiplayer network to let you play online with friends all over the world. It also comes with a code for one month of Xbox Game Pass, the Xbox gaming subscription service. This gives you everything you need to get started in the wonderful world of Forza Horizon 4. So let's get into the unboxing. So you'll remove the sleeve first of all and you'll be able to see all the extra artwork of the console. When you open up the box, you'll be welcomed by your Xbox One setup guide. Then in the box, you have your accessories box, which has all the nice little goodies that you'll want. It has your Xbox One wireless controller, which is amazing, which you'll use to play your games. It's got a load of awesome features like the 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom so you can attach your headphones to listen to your gameplay or media. You then have the wireless connector here. We have Bluetooth so you can connect it to your Windows 10 PC or laptop as well if you want to play Xbox Play Anywhere games. You then also have the HDMI cable to plug your Xbox into your TV or monitor and then the power cable which is one single cable to power your console. So this is the Xbox One S. As you can see here, you've got the USB port right at the front. You can use that to connect your controller or your headset. And also on the other side, you've got the button which you'll use to connect your controller wirelessly if you'd rather play with that cable. Yeah, and then if we take a look at the back of the console, you've got the power port right here to connect your power cable into. You've got your HDMI out uh, to TV. You've then got your HDMI in. You've got two more USB ports, whether you want to use that for an external hard drive or playing charge kit to charge your controller. You've then got your IR out. You've then got your optical cable and then the ethernet cable if you want to play wired. Altogether, those things make up your Xbox One S Forza Horizon 4 one terabyte bundle. Earlier we mentioned Game Pass but didn't explain what that was. Game Pass is Xbox's game subscription service where you pay a flat monthly fee and get access to over 100 games in a library that's expanding every month. Xbox exclusive titles from Microsoft like Sea of Thieves and Forza Horizon 4 both became available from day one of release, meaning any Game Pass subscriber could play these games at no extra cost on the same day as everyone else. Many future titles will be release day editions too. If you or your family enjoy exploring tons of different games and getting your hands on some big titles as soon as they're out, Game Pass offers fantastic value for money. To redeem the Game Pass and Xbox Live and game codes that you get with your bundle, you will need to connect your Xbox to the internet and sign in with the account you would like the games to be redeemed on. Go to the Microsoft Store tab and head down to the Redeem a Code button. Enter the codes, confirm, and you're all set. If you want to see progress on games downloading, go to My Games and Apps and check the Update tab. You can see the size of the update, pause it to save for later, or just leave it to download. Codes for Xbox Live and Game Pass will be immediately applied to your account. Xbox One has everything you need as a parent to manage and monitor your child's gaming. From putting restrictions on screen time to managing exactly the types of games your child can and cannot play, Xbox has a broad range of parental controls and settings which you should be familiar with. 
Before this, you'll need to make yourself an Xbox account first with an email address and password. This will act as your master account and that gives you full control over all the settings on the console. Be sure to keep your password in a safe place as losing it might cause issues for your child in the future when you want to lift restrictions. I know that might seem obvious, but you'll be surprised. <laughs> First up, content restrictions. You can block specific apps, games, and websites from being accessed and customize these settings for each individual profile under the master account. Children can actually request to access anything they've been blocked from seeing, and you can approve or deny these requests and chat to your child if they're trying to view anything inappropriate. To find the setting, press the Xbox button, which will bring up the guide, go right with the bumpers until you're in the system menu, go to settings, which will bring up the settings app. Next, select system and signed out console restrictions. You'll need to enter your password to confirm it's you, and then you can change all the settings individually to your taste. Press B once you're happy and you're done. For families, online safety should be a huge priority as we communicate and rely on the internet more and more. Oh yeah. Xbox Live can be a fantastic service, but it's good to keep an eye on who your child might be coming across in their online gaming adventures. You can manage who can communicate and play games with your child as well as restricting the activity and profile information that is available on your child's profile page. You might want to hide their location and make sure their profile is empty of any identifying information, including full names. In the settings, go to Account and then to Privacy and Online Safety and choose Xbox Live Privacy. Here, you can change settings for your own account, but for your child's account, click Account in the settings, then Family. Enter your password and choose which account to change. Then use the same settings you did for the personal account. You might want to limit the amount of time you or your child spends on their console. So there's a balance between their studies and spending time on their Xbox. You can set daily screen time, limits or schedules custom to each day of the week. So you might want to offer more playtime on the weekends, for example. These limits also carry across to your child's Windows 10 account if you use the same email and password login for both. To set these limits, you'll need to use a browser to go to account.microsoft.com forward slash family to sign in with your Microsoft account. Find your child's name and select screen time. If you want to use the same schedule for all devices, switch the use screen time schedule from off to on. If you want separate schedules, you can adjust them individually instead. Most games are now available to buy through the Xbox Store app on the Xbox itself, alongside in-game transactions. They can creep up on you if you're not careful, and children might not know that they're using actual money to buy things in-game. It's important to keep an eye on purchase settings so you don't have to have any nasty surprises. You can choose to add currency to a child's account so they can have autonomy over their own purchases up to a certain limit with a budget. The best way to make sure there are no unauthorized purchases on a family-owned console is by using a pass key. A pass key is a six-button combination that must be used before a purchase will go ahead. You can set a pass key up on your account once you have logged in and it's quicker and simpler than entering a full password every time and can be changed regularly. To set up a pass key for purchases, go to settings, all settings, account sign-in security and passkey, and you may be asked to enter your password then, and then you head to the change my sign-in and security preferences. Customize, and then ask my passkey to make purchases. You can also turn this feature off by following the same steps, but selecting the passkey not required option. If you're worried about your child possibly spending money in the store or in game by accident, we would recommend using prepaid cards and loading the balance onto the Xbox account. You will only be able to spend the limit on the card and it will avoid any nasty surprises. You can also choose not to add payment options to your account at all and then separately purchase an Xbox credit code or a code for in-game currency to eliminate any chances of accidental purchases. That's always good. We've all been there. Yeah. So if you're buying the Xbox as a gift, we would definitely recommend setting the Xbox up the day before you gift it and downloading any system updates. Usually there are system updates available after the Xbox has left the factory and they can be quite big. So it's good to get those out of the way so everyone can get right into playing the next morning. You can also use this time to set up an account on the Xbox for yourself and your child and set up the parental controls and even maybe download games ahead of time. This will save you a lot of potential frustration the next day. And why not have a go at the games yourself so you know exactly what your children are experiencing? If you don't fancy getting hands-on, you could check out some streams on the Mixer app or by going to Mixer.com. Mixer is a Microsoft-owned live streaming platform where people can broadcast their gameplay and you can ask questions about the game or just watch and pick up some information. If you fancy being more practically involved, Copilot is a really fun feature that lets you use two controllers as if they are one. So if your child loves playing games but needs a little bit of help, you can play alongside them, both controlling the same character to give them a helping hand. Every Tuesday, Xbox has sales that active Xbox Live Gold members can take advantage of, giving discounts on a huge variety of games, new and old. Each month, there are also free games added to Games with Gold, 
meaning if you're paying for Xbox Live Gold, there are always free games to download and enjoy every single month. You can log in with your Xbox account on Microsoft.com and buy discounted games there, where they will be automatically sent to your Xbox account ready to download. We hope you found this useful and you have loads of fun with your family on your new Xbox One. So if you'd like to see more of us, then head over to YouTube.com forward slash Xbox One for the latest gameplay and updates in the world of Xbox, or find us live playing a variety of awesome Xbox games over at Mixer.com forward slash Xbox One, where we can answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching. Bye.